my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to do a little video about 21 of my favorite items for the summer. So these are items that I've been loving and that I've been using a whole lot. So you can probably call them my 21 summer faves. I'm not really sure how to call this, but I've been seeing a lot of videos of people sharing their favorite items for like different occasions, for different seasons. So I thought I'd share my favorite go-to items this summer. I'm also filming from a different camera today, which is the Sony um, RX100. So let me know if you like the quality of this video. Um, I'm still unsure if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna give it back. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start with um, beauty and uh, skincare products. So one of my favorite items this summer is from the brand Dr. Jart, and this is the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Serum. So this is a serum for um, sensitive skin, irritated skin. So it's made with Centella, that's where the name Sika comes from, and it's been very, very good at soothing my skin. Um, if I have like stressed skin, it gets like Pretty red and I have eczema so this has been really good um, for soothing my skin so it has a little bit of a herby smell because it is made with tiger grass but it's not anything overpowering and it is made for sensitive skin so even though there is a scent to it a fragrance to it um, I don't think it will irritate your skin at all it's very very gentle the second product that I love from Dr. Jart is the Ceramidin or ceramidin, I'm not really sure how you pronounce this, um, cream. So this is a moisture retention shield. So this cream is actually pretty thick. I didn't expect this kind of texture when I first tried it out, but it's kind of like this really thick, almost balmy feeling, but it blends into your skin very, very well, and it's actually super moisturizing, but it's not sticky at all. So it does go very well under makeup, but I use this when I have really dry and dehydrated skin, and it works super well. So I've been loving these two products from Dr. Jart. So the next skincare item is sunscreen. So I've been obviously putting a whole lot of sunscreen this summer. It's been a really, really hot, humid summer this summer here in Canada. So I've been loving this one that I received a while ago from Bioderma. This is the Bioderma Photoderm SPF 40. This is their high protection spray, which protects against UVA and UVB. And what I love about this sunscreen is actually the texture of it. So it's super, super lightweight texture. So just to show you guys, you're supposed to spray it on your hands if you're gonna apply on your face. And if you're gonna apply it on your body, you can just spray directly, but it's super, super lightweight and liquidy, but it definitely does not leave your skin sticky at all. It has a super nice fragrance. I can't describe it. It, it smells kind of like a baby powdery smell, but not exactly baby powder. It's kind of like an exotic baby powder smell, but I've been absolutely loving this sunscreen because it's actually pretty moisturizing um, for a sunscreen. A lot of sunscreen kind of just sit on top of your skin and they don't actually moisturize it. This one feels super moisturizing. Even on my face with this kind of fragrance, I do have sensitive skin and it's not uh, irritating at all and it sits well under makeup as well. So I'm really, really, really liking this overall for the summer. The next product that I've been loving is something I received recently. It's from the Laboratoire Dr. Renault, and it's this loose powder SPF 50. It's been really, really easy to add on top of your makeup. So it comes in this little packaging, and it's a brush type. So you just kind of shake it, and the product goes into the brush, and you can see there's a little bit of product at the end of the brush and you can just, so it's super convenient. I keep this in my purse to reapply throughout the day. So the next few items are makeup products that I've been loving this summer. So the first product kind of ties in with skincare, so I'm gonna start with that. So this one is the Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 25. So this also has SPF in it. Um, I use the shade light medium, which is pretty dark. So this is like my summer shade. Um, if I were to wear this in the winter, I would probably go with just light. This is 
what the tinted moisturizer looks like. So what I love about this is that it's actually super high coverage. Well, super high coverage. It's a pretty decent coverage for a tinted moisturizer. So as you can see here, it's a pretty high coverage for just a tinted moisturizer. I really like the finish of it, which is a healthy kind of dewy finish. So it's really, really nice for the summer. I usually apply this like in padding motions, it's just like this. And it leaves such a beautiful glowy finish. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite tinted moisturizers I've ever tried. And it's great for the summer because it has the SPF 25. So throughout the day, if you kind of want to reapply sunscreen, you can also reapply using a tinted moisturizer that has sunscreen in it because you're reapplying your makeup while re-adding SPF. So that's a good option as well. But honestly, I really, really like it and it sits really well on my skin. I do have to say that this does oxidize a little bit. So like I said, this is perfect for me right now in the summer because it suits my tan. So that's something to keep in mind when you're choosing your shade. The other beauty products that I wanna mention are these Pixie Glow blushes. I've been absolutely loving these stick blushes ever since I tried them out. So these are the Pixie On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisture. I have a lot of trouble saying the word moisture. Bl tinted Moisture Stick. So this is what the stick looks like. I've been absolutely loving the uh, this color, which is Ruby. It's a super, super pretty kind of reddish pink color like i would say like a raspberry color and it looks so good on the skin because it really gives you this nice healthy flush so it's this really pretty color right here and the other one that i've been using a lot also is in the color juicy which is more of an orange like a tangerine color so i'll put it on this side here this one is a little bit less pigmented i would say but as you can tell here it's still a little bit orangey so this is really nice when i'm doing like a coral bronzy look so i've been really really loving these because um it's so easy to apply and because it's such an easy convenient stick you can put this in your purse and just reapply throughout the day if you need to as well so these are my two favorite colors so i do have one hair product that i want to mention and it's this l'occitane en provence um, dry shampoo mist so i received this very recently and i was very very intrigued because this is like a liquid dry shampoo and i was like how does that even work i still don't know how it works but it actually does work pretty well so this is the dry shampoo mist with peppermint extract this is made for normal to oily hair and i do agree that this does not work if you have extremely greasy hair but this works well on like a second day hair it's like starting to become a little bit greasy but not too oily if you spray this on like i'll spray it just to show you guys what it looks like so you're supposed to shake it and just spray it over your head it does have a pretty strong minty feeling. This really reminds me a lot of the scent of um, mouthwash or like men's aftershave. So if you're really not into that scent, I would pass. I don't know if they have any other scents, um, but I like the concept of it. That's it for skincare, makeup, and hair categories now i'll jump into perfumes i have two perfumes i want to share with you that have been my favorite scents this summer this first perfume i received recently and i'm so 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 excited about it this is the byredo mojave ghost and this is a scent oh it smells so good but like i really can't describe i'm really really bad at describing scents so this is definitely more of a fresh category scent like i wouldn't classify this as floral or sweet it's really in the fresh category warm at the same time and it's very like sophisticated so this is really nice um i feel like to go out it's not too overpowering either the other perfume that i've been using a lot is the dolce gabbana the the only one this is definitely on the sweeter side so for reference i am the type of girl that really really likes 
the Victor and Rolf flower balm. So the flower balm, the original one, is f a little bit florally, but mostly sweet. I'm very much of a sweet type of scent girl. I find that these suit me the best, and I'm very attracted to them. So this is definitely on the sweeter side, but also sophisticated, and also, honestly, this is a very good everyday um, perfume for me. It just smells so, so good. So these are the two perfumes that I've been loving. So now I wanna jump into fashion items. So I have some clothing items and I also have accessories that I wanna share with you guys. So I'll start with sunglasses and these are two pairs of sunglasses I wanna share with you guys. The first pair is this pair from Gentle Monster and these were part of a collaboration I did with Farfetch and I've been absolutely loving them. So these are the sunglasses from Gentle Monster, and as you can tell, they're like more of a clear type of sunglasses. So this is what they look like. I am completely obsessed with the look of them. I feel like it looks so cool if you have like a pretty neutral outfit and you just wanna add something cool. Um, you can just wear these sunglasses and I find that it elevates your looks so much so something i love about these sunglasses is because they're from gentle monster which is a south korean um, brand um, they're really well made for my face shape so i do have a pretty low nose bridge compared to caucasian noses so what i love about these when i put them on they fit my nose bridge really really well and i do believe that's because of the designing of the sunglasses because they're a Asian brand. I find that it looks so good and I feel like it would suit so many of you guys if you have a similar face shape as me. The next pair of sunglasses is from the brand Karen. I've been seeing a lot of celebrities rock these sunglasses. So they sent me this pair of sunglasses and as you can tell, I'm very into the clear type of glasses. So these are also clear tinted um, shades and these are aviator style and look at this look how cool this looks even with this look i would definitely go out like this but it's such a cool look i find and i really really like the shape of them for my face shape and once again karen is a south korean brand so the way that the little clear things here sit on my nose is like absolutely perfect um, I didn't have to adjust any of these glasses, so I've been obsessed with these ones and these ones were actually worn by BTS Jimin So I'm just saying if you're into BTS and you want to match with them This is a good pair of sunglasses to own um, Not only Jimin, but also uh, Namjoon was wearing these so I'm just saying <laughs> So the next fashion items that I want to share with you guys are these um, claw clips I think they're called so this one is in this super pretty white iridescent pearly kind of um, shade <laughs> color um, and I really really like the size of it so it's a little bit on the bigger side but I've been loving this look it just gives this kind of effortless cool girl look so i've been rocking these a lot i like to do it on a half do like this i'm wearing one right now which i got recently and i absolutely love and it's this checkered claw clip so these are the two clips that i've been wearing a whole lot so i have the checkered one and this white pearly one and so like i said i like to do them in half do's or full up do's so i just take my whole Hair and I just twist them once up and put all my hair into one clip. So I also really enjoy this look for the summer. It's been really, really easy because it's been so hot and humid here in Canada that putting your hair up is almost the only option to style your hair just because it's so freaking humid. So these are the two clips that I wanted to share with you guys. So the next fashion items are bags or purses. And so these are two of my favorite bags that I wanna share with you. Um, if you've seen my midsummer vlog, you probably saw this beautiful bag that I bought at Prada. So this is my newest purse. This is the Prada Clio bag. This is the full size, because it also comes in a smaller size. And I have been obsessed 
obsessed with this purse um so i've been absolutely loving it i find that it goes so well with any outfit obviously it's black um but it's just so chic even the prada logo is not too obnoxious i find i love the shape so 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 much and the length of the strap is perfect for me so i've been obsessed with this purse as you can tell the second purse that i've been absolutely loving is this little dumpling purse it's from the brand songmont um i think you that's how you pronounce it songmont it's a chinese brand and they kindly sent me this bag so it comes in a whole bunch of different colors it also comes in different sizes and i wanted a bag that was a um, good size for an everyday type of purse so i find that these sizes are the ones that i tend to go for so between these two sizes and this also fit really well you know across my shoulder like this and i wanted to go for a bag that was not black or white or beige or brown because i already have um, all those colors so i went for this bluish gray which i'm honestly very much obsessed it's not super neutral um and so it does definitely add a little bit of color to my outfit and i also love that it has silver hardware i've been very much into silver these days so i've been absolutely obsessed with this bag so the next fashion accessories i want to share with you guys are some rings from the brand Ale Yole. Um, I think that's how you pronounce them. I've been working with them for quite a while now and I absolutely love them. They are a Spanish based jewelry brand and they make honestly such stunning jewelry. I've worked with them on a ring uh, collaboration recently and I've been obsessed with the rings. So these are the rings that they sent me recently and I've been loving the colorful uh, rings and the pearly rings. So these are just absolutely stunning. So all the rings are made from 925 sterling silver and they are 18K gold plating. Um, they honestly are such high quality for such a decent price. Most of the rings range, I would like to say from $20 till $150 but honestly it's such a good price for good quality jewelry I also absolutely love these little huggy earrings from them in silver I've been wearing these non-stop I also shower with them and sleep with them and they have not you know tarnished or anything like that they still look brand new so I've been loving these um, jewelry pieces from Aliole I'm gonna jump right into clothes um, for my next favorite. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I absolutely love wearing linen shirts over crop tops this summer. So kind of just like this, I'm wearing a little tank crop top with a button up shirt on top. This one actually is also one of my favorites. So this one is from Silk Laundry and it has these beautiful Australian horses on them because it's an Australian brand and I just love the color. So this is one of my favorites as well. I've been wearing this a lot and I love the material. It's silk, so it's absolutely lovely. The other button up that I've been wearing nonstop is this white one. So if you follow me on Instagram, like I said, you've probably seen me wear this a lot. <laughs> And honestly, it was really funny because me and my friends went to Unicol together and we all got the same top. So me, Kelsey, her boyfriend, and even Alyssa got the same button-up blouse. So this is a linen blouse. I don't know if it's 100% linen. Yeah, it is. It's 100% linen from Uniqlo. This is the men's uh, shirt. They also make the same one for women, but I really like the men's fit a lot better. Um, and I got this in a large. It's such a gorgeous and high quality shirt. I would suggest you to go run to your clothes, get you one of these button up shirts. So my next fashion items are these dresses. They're from Silk Laundry, which is the same brand as my shirt that I'm wearing right now. So they are once again, also 100% silk. And so I've been loving these slip silk dresses. I've been wearing these all summer. So 
I don't know if you can tell, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Like the color is so stunning. The fit is so flattering on, and I've just been loving wearing these with a button up linen shirt. So I have this green one. I also have this um, navy blue polka dotted one. I have a dark forest green one, but I've been absolutely loving wearing these type of dresses. They're so easy to style. They look really chic, but it's, almost zero effort. You just have to put it on, um, throw on a button up on top, wear it with sneakers or high heels and you're set. My last fashion piece are these sandals. So these are little flip flops from the brand Tiki's and Tiki's is Canadian made. And I've been loving these because they're such a classic but sleek pair of uh, flip flops. I like how thin the straps are and I do believe these are in leather also, so they just look really, really um, high quality and they go with anything. They really give you that effortless summer look. So these have been a staple um, for me this summer as well. So the last few pieces that I wanna share are completely random and the first one are phone cases. So I've been loving switching up my phone cases this summer, so I feel like I switched them almost on a weekly basis. Um, so I have a couple of phone cases from this brand called Case App. They make super fun phone cases. They also make custom ones. So if you have any images that you wanna put on a phone case, you can um, make it yourself. And they made this one for me and my friend Kelsey, which is so freaking cute. And honestly, they're super high quality. They're pretty thick. The only complaint I would say is that they're on the heavier side. So because they're sturdy, um, they will give a bit of uh, weight to your phone. I personally don't mind that, but I know a lot of people go for like super thin phone cases because they don't like to have the added weight to the phone. But I've been loving these. And last but not least, this is super duper random, but I've been loving these masks. So I got these uh, KF94 masks from Amazon and I'm obsessed with it because of the color, obviously. So I believe it came in a pack of 50, I believe, um, and they are, like I said, the KF95, so they have that shape that I love, and they just fit my face super well, just like this, and super breathable. My lips barely touch the end here. I just find that these are my favorite masks um, in terms of like shape. I'll put the link to these uh, in the description box because I already had a lot of people on my Instagram ask me um, where I got these masks from and they came in a whole bunch of colors. I'll link these below and I just thought it was such a cute little addition to my outfits because um, as we all know COVID is still here and obviously here in Canada we're doing pretty well but the cases have been going up because of the fourth wave and the Delta variant so we still have to be careful and we still have to wear masks indoors and in public spaces so i decided to add a little touch of purple to my outfits so that was it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little favorites video um i really enjoy them when i watch them on youtube myself so i thought i would do one for the summer for you guys you guys seem to have really enjoyed my what's in my bag video which is a little bit similar to this um, and I'm super super thankful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time